Eric Tov, Chavri Martin, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here, uh, still in Duluth, Georgia. The conference has ended, and uh, we'll be doing some work here this week trying to share with you uh, some of the information that we have uh, been able to hear at the conference there. We will be uploading the debate uh, between Dr. Pitchin and author Stephen, uh, excuse me, Zin Garcia. Uh, I'm sure that'll be a, a, a very interesting insights for all of you to be able to hear as well. Uh, my wife, Yana Benoon, incredible uh, presentation on the dangers of vaccines uh, as well as uh, transhumanism. Uh, no doubt that'll be a blessing in Laurel Austin. Her own private experiences there that she has had, her own family has suffered uh, from the injuries of vaccines there. We'll be loading, the, loading these up here on Israeli News Live uh, later this week. It's going to be quite intensive on the editing of this because I'll have to be working with uh, individual PowerPoints that will need to be uploaded as well in the in the. So please just be a little bit patient with us there. Uh, I wanted to take the time to share with you uh, some interesting news that is going on here. Very troubling situation. It definitely looks like that we are on the verge of a war with North Korea. I want you to hear what Murad Gazdiev here has to say here from RT. Uh, and I actually communicate uh, through messaging with Murad Gazdiev uh, quite from time to time, I don't want to say quite often, but from time to time we do uh, text one another back and forth and he's really been a blessing for us in sharing some insights on what's going on in Syria as well as Ukraine. Uh, but I want to share with you now uh, what he says about the U.S. preparing for war with North Korea. Listen to, to what the statements are here. If you have any doubts that the United States is preparing for war, look at what's happening on the ground. U.S. troops, jets, various forces are arriving to South Korea in an endless stream. Anti-air missile systems are blanketing the airspace and the endless war games, simulations, exercises all around uh, North Korea carried out by the United States, its allies and, uh, and South Korea. This isn't about scaring North Korea. That can't be done. This is about putting all the pieces into place so that when the final go order comes, everybody's ready. After all, Donald Trump promised to deal with North Korea. Didn't say how. We'll handle North Korea. We're going to be able to handle North Korea. It, uh, it will be handled. Very, um, very troubling information indeed from what we're seeing there from Murad Gazdiev with RT uh, News there reporter there. And not only that, there is some other interesting things that are coming out uh, that could be playing in on this. Let me just share some of the things with you here. This here article here from, uh, let me go to the uh, Statical Investor, says America's woes worthless dollars forces USA to engage Russia. Uh, I want to come back to that article in just a second there uh, because actually what I wanted to share with you before that is this latest video coming out. This is shared on Already Happened with our good friend Lorenzo there in Italy, uh, sharing with us a video there of uh, a, a large contingent of military equipment headed for Los Angeles. Now, according to Murad, uh, excuse me, according to Lorenzo, what already happened here, these, this huge uh, uh, train carrying tanks uh, and, and uh, all types of military equipment there uh, are headed to Los Angeles. Now, uh, Lorenzo believes that this equipment is actually going to be loaded on a ship and taken to, uh, to for the battle, for a battle against North Korea. Uh, whether or not that's the case or not, I don't know. I know there are some very serious concerns that we may be facing an attack uh, on our southern border uh, with ISIS coming across the border there. So these tanks may be being positioned uh, for a possibility of this type of scenario. Uh, not really sure how that's going to play out. Also, uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov of Russia saying to Rex Tillerson the exact response Russia is taking based on the latest U.S. sanctions that have been placed uh, on Russia there. Uh, they have downsized uh, the number of uh, U.S. diplomats as far as uh, U.S. personnel working at embassies inside of Russia from 755 to 455. Uh, but he goes into great detail with Rex Tillerson how Russia is going to respond to the latest sanctions.
politicians there and he calls them unfriendly and also uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov calls those sanctions uh, something that is dangerous for, uh, for international security. Very troubling words there. Don't forget that Russia has also vowed to protect North Korea much like China has uh, in the event that they would be willing to work with Russia on their nuclear program. So how much uh, cooperation would it take for Russia to help protect North Korea from uh, an attack by the United States? That still remains to be seen. Now backing up to the other article here that I just spoke to you about before from Tactical Investor here, America's woes, worthless do dollars, forces USA to engage Russia. Very troubling article here. It says here, one of the reasons that the US has engaged Russia, that it has made it a mission to wean itself from the dollar. This does not sit well. Uh, with the U.S. for many other nations could follow Russia, Russia's footsteps as it is a dominant and uh, powerful player in the energy sector. More importantly, Russia is the only nation capable of taking on the U.S. and not afraid of doing so. Putin has stated many times that he wanted to price Russian resources and multiple currencies and avoid the dollar. He is, uh, he is, his contention is that the U.S. creates money out of thin air and is doing so uh, is def defrauding the entire world and his point is valid. Uh, the article goes on to state that when Saddam Hussein started selling oil in euros, the U.S. attacked Iraq shortly after that. And when Libya started to uh, uh, to state it wanted to move to selling oil in euros, Gaddafi was taken out. Goes into some other issues there as well. Uh, and this is maybe perhaps, I guess the article is trying to imply here, why the pressure has been put on Russia the way it has. And clearly, as we have seen ourselves, uh, the sanctions against Russia clearly are unwarranted. Uh, Russia has not been guilty of the things that they have been accused of by the United States. Uh, so it kind of stands to reason that this may be the main reason why the, Russia is being targeted by the U.S. Uh, shy of a military intervention. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Kind of a quick take of our broadcast there. As soon as we get back uh, into uh, South Florida there, we will get back in the sea here, get you more caught up on things that are going on and also share with you uh, some powerful insights that came out of this conference. I'll be also sharing with you personally some incredible revelation, uh, actually kind of inspired by my wife's report on transhumanism as she compared that with the temple of God and an invasion of the temple of God, us being our bodies, being the temple of God. Just some incredible insight that uh, the, the Lord dealt with me on on this issue here. I'll share that with you as well. No doubt, altogether will be a true blessing to you. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.